you guys time to learn the history of the Philippines so yeah history of the Philippines so if you want to learn it I'll ask the questions first I'll say it all to you and then I'll do the question okay okay fine let's go Philippines was discovered by Ferdinand Magellan in 1521. Magellan in introduced Christianity. So, if, yeah, he's from Spain. And if he did not invade us, then we're not Catholics. We're not Christians. So, after that, 1521 was the Battle of Mactan when Magellan landed to Cebu. So, yes, they came to attack Philippines and then Philippines won. So, and, um, the, a few years later, 1521, now 1565, the Spanish returned the Philippines to colonize. Wait, the 1521 fighter in the Philippines was Lapu-Lapu, so he was the one who fought for freedom in the Philippines. So, um, yes. And in 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 later 1565, the Spanish returned to the Philippines again to colonize, which which Lapu-Lapu which Lapu -Lapu died. In 1565, so Philippines was Philippines in 1600 was spread by Spanish. And by 1744 to 1829, the Dagohoy Rebellion continued. 1744 to 1829, 85 years of the Dagohoy Rebellion led by Francisco Dagohoy. He was the president of the Philippines. You know, I mean, he was the leader of the Philippine theater before. So, after that, 1810 to 1846, Netherlands invaded our country. 1810 to 1846, 36 years. Which in Filipino, inandal tayo ng mga taga Netherlands. So, yes. The Spanish helped Philippines to, um, yes. The Spanish helped Philippines to colonize noon. And I forgot a part. 1762, British invasion of Manila or British occupation of Manila because British came to our country to colonize Manila. Yes. Which in 1896, there were two events there. Um, those events were... The Revolution of the Philippines, Spanish, I mean, three events, the Revolution of the Philippines, Spanish-American War, and the death of Dr. Jose Rizal. So, the first event was the Revolution of the Philippines. The Revolution of the Philippines started because they don't want, they want to be free, not to be colonized. And then, the next event was Spanish-American War, which led from 1896 to 1898 because Spain destroyed the American ship in Cuba. So, American came to came to Philippines to attack the Spanish. And the last event was the death of Dr. Jose Rizal, which led on to December 30, 1896, which is ex executed by the Spanish. So, by June 12, 1898, Philippines declared independent from Spain 
and by 1899 to 1902 um what happened it was the philippine american war a war between the philippines and the united states so philippines was not very strong so america so america won in the war so that was how it go because the president of the u.s ignored aguinaldo's government or and one american shot a philippine soldier so that's how the um, the american the philippine american war starts so yeah in 1935 is the declaration of the Philippine Republic, Third Philippine Republic. And that's how it goes. And by 1941, Japanese occupation of the Philippines, which was in 1941 to 1945 in World War II. So, as the most powerful country in Asia during World War II was the Japanese Empire which invaded Philippines by 1941 to 1945 so um, on some more histories and by 1945 UN declared peace you know what the meaning of UN UN, UN is UN, UN is United Nations. Yes, it is United Nations. And by 1952, Philippines joined the Korean War, the Vietnam War, which which led from with uh, which led in the China and Vietnam. Philippines joined the war and by 1972 President Ferdinand Marcos declared the election of the president was the most voted president Ferdinand Marcos so he became a president until 1986 his death in a in Hawaii so Philippines declared a revolution and don't want Mark and don't want Ferdinand Marcos to be the president anymore because he is, I think, bad. So, um, that's all. In 2013, that there was a terrible typhoon that point in the Philippines. It was Typhoon Yolanda or Typhoon Haiyan. By 2017, in Mindanao, ISIS terrorize Philippines. It only in Mindanao, okay? Wait, because I think you might be surprised. And and 2020, it's done. Philippines have peace. That's all for today. If you want some more histories, subscribe to my channel. Bye.